Hello everybody. Today we are going to make Uncle Sam hat always. In instruction Willy Wonka hat, as you may remember, I mentioned that um, we can use the same waving technique to make different balloon sculptures with different color patterns. And today I want to show you two different color patterns. I am going to use three sets of balloons. Let's inflate six red and six white balloons leaving about 11 cm uh, flat tails. We have to tie nozzles of uh, three red and three white balloons in one knot. It's going to be the first set of balloons. In this video instruction I'm going to make a vase. For my blog post I made a hat using different color pattern. We can use the hat as a vase and vase as a hat. All we have to do is just uh, turn the sculpture upside down. At the end of the video I will show you both of the sculptures, the hat and the vase. On my blog post you will find a full description uh, how to make the hat using different color pattern. Link to the blog post you will find in description to this video or on my website fiduit.com. Now let's twist the red about 3 cm long bubble. Lock both ends of the red bubble in one lock twist. It is an additional bubble we needed uh, to hide uh, nuts at the center of the sculpture. I am working from the top of the head or bottom of the waist. All uh, large bubbles of the first row I am making about uh, 12 cm long. All small bubbles of the first row I am making about uh, 3 cm long. We have to lock both ends of each small bubble of the first row in one lock twist. We work all balloons in the same way, moving around the sculpture in each row in the same direction. In this example I am making the first row just slightly wider than the mouth of the waist or base of the head if you wish. If you want to use this sculpture as a head then you should probably uh, make the large bubbles of the first row a couple centimeters longer. That's what I did for the blog post anyway. For this color pattern we have to alternate uh, balloons by colors. Red, white, red, white, red, white. Now we have to twist a large bubbles and we have to make them of the same size as we made the first large bubbles. Twist the red large bubble. Lock the free end of the large red bubble with the small white bubble. Twist the large white bubble. Lock the free end of the large white bubble with the red uh, small bubble on the right side. Remember, we always move around the sculpture in the same direction in each row. Here we have made the first row. It is the base of the waist or top of the head. The small additional bubble at the center of the sculpture uh, is necessary only for the head. For the waist we can always move it inside of the waist. Now we have to attach balloons of the second set to our sculpture. In this example I am going to tie nozzles of the red balloons uh, with um, small red bubbles of the first row. And then we tie nozzles of the white balloons uh, with um, uh, small white bubbles of the first row. For making different color patterns you may consider a different uh, color setup. And I actually tie balloons in different uh, color order uh, for my blog post. I want to show you two different color patterns in one instruction. This way I hope you will get better understanding of what and how you can do. We are going to make uh, bubbles of two sizes in each row. All small bubbles we are going to make about uh, 2 cm long in each row. All large bubbles in one row we have to make of the same size. Let's make large bubbles of the second row of about 10 cm long. Twist the red large bubble. Use the white balloon on the right side of the sculpture uh, to make the small white bubble. Lock the free ends of the large red and the small white bubbles in one lock twist. I am going to work all balloons of the second row in the same way moving around the sculpture in the same direction. We shape the sculpture um, by decreasing or increasing size of large bubbles in each row. In this example I am going to make either the same or a slightly decrease size of large bubbles in each following row making it about 1 cm 
shorter than in previous row. In all my instructions I am giving very uh, approximately estimated size of all bubbles. So you have to use your own judgment to make uh, proper size uh, bubbles. Alright, here we have made the second row of our sculpture. Let's make the large bubbles of the third row of about uh, 10 cm long. Twist the large white bubble. Then we twist the small red bubble on the right side. Lock free ends of the large white and the small red bubble in one lock twist. Work all balloons around the sculpture in the same direction. Always alternate the colors according to the color pattern. Here we have made the third row. And you already can see clearly the color pattern. Let's make the large bubbles of the fourth row of about 9 cm long. Twist the large red bubble. Twist the small white bubble on the right side. Lock free ends of the large red and the small white bubbles in one lock twist. It's easier for me at least uh, make uh, first the small bubble and then make the large bubble and then uh, lock the free ends in one lock twist. Here we have made the fourth row. Let's make the large bubbles of the fifth row of about the same 9 cm size. Twist the large white bubble, twist the small red bubble on the right side, lock free ends of the large white and the small red bubbles in one lock twist. We can work in this way to make as many rows as uh, necessary. To make sculpture of any size, uh, tall, short, it's up to you. Here we have made the fifth row. Let's make large bubbles of the sixth row of about 8 cm long. Twist the large red bubble, a small white bubble, lock the free ends in one lock twist. Here we have made the 6th um, row. Let's make the large bubbles of the 7th row of about uh, 7 cm long. Twist the large white bubble, small red bubble, lock the free ends in one lock twist. I'm going to make the 7th row the base of the sculpture. If you're planning to use the sculpture as a hat, then uh, it should be of appropriate size to fit you. Here we have made the 7th row. This is the side view. Here's a bottom view. In this example I'm going to use blue balloons to make the brim of the sculpture. Inflate a couple of blue balloons leaving about 8 cm flat tails. Tie the nozzle of the blue balloon between bubbles of the 7th row. All blue bubbles of the first row of the brim I'm going to make of the same about 10, maybe 11 cm size. Twist the first blue bubble. Lock it between the next two bubbles of the seventh row. Work all bubbles uh, moving around the sculpture in the same direction. Here we have made the first row of the brim. Once again, if you're planning to use this sculpture as a hat, then you should check the size of the hat. It should fit you properly. Now we can cut off the rest of the red balloons. Tie off the ends, hide them between bubbles of the uh, sculpture. Basically, we already made the waist. I want to make the brim wider. So let's make uh, the small soft about 3, maybe 4 cm long white bubbles. Lock uh, both ends of each white bubble in one lock twist. The small white bubbles of the brim will make uh, the sculpture look better. And uh, most importantly, they help us to fix the bubbles of the brim in proper positions. Now I'm going to make the second row of the brim. All blue bubbles of the second row I'm going to make of about 12, maybe 13 cm long. Twist the large blue bubble of the second row of the brim. Lock it around the next white small bubble of the brim. Use the rest of the blue balloon to make as many bubbles as you can. In this example I use one blue balloon to make all bubbles of the first row of the brim and plus three bubbles of the second row of the brim. Once you run out of the blue balloon, you have to cut off the rest of the blue balloon, tie off the end, hide it between uh, bubbles of the sculpture. 
And then we have to tie nozzle of the second blue balloon right where we ended the first blue balloon at this point. Actually, I'm not going to use the white balloons anymore. So let's cut off the rest of the white balloons, tie off the ends. In the instructions that I made uh, for my blog post, I made two white small bubbles at the same spot instead of uh, one bubble as uh, we're making in this example. As always, it is up to you how many bubbles to use, one or two. Okay, and now we have to tie the second blue balloon to the end of the first blue balloon. Use the second blue balloon to make um, the rest of the second row of the brim, making bubbles of the same size, moving around the sculpture in the same direction. Here we have made the second row of the brim. I want to make the brim even wider. I'm going to use the rest of the blue balloon to make the third row. Let's make all bubbles of the third row of about 15 centimeters long. Lock the free end of the large blue bubble with the small white bubbles of the brim. Work the second blue balloon to make as many bubbles as you can. It looks like uh, in this example I'm going to make just three bubbles of the third row using the second blue balloon. After that I will have to cut off the rest of the blue balloon and uh, attach the third blue balloon. Alright, now we can attach the third blue balloon. I have to make three more blue bubbles of the third row. We have made the third row of the brim. Let's cut off the rest of the blue balloon, tie off the end. Congratulations, we have made the vase. Or if you turn the sculpture upside down this way, you can use it as a hat, Uncle Sam hat. Just remember, uh, if you're planning to use it as a hat, you have to make the base of the hat um, proper size to fit you properly. And please check my blog post to see how I made the hat using different color pattern. I want to show you another example I made um, a hat for uh, my blog post using different uh, color pattern. Also, the hat has a bit different shape. I use only two rows of uh, blue bubbles to make the brim. And I made the brim uh, with um, two white small bubbles at the same spot instead of one uh, bubble as in this example. This way it's easier to fix uh, bubbles of the brim in proper position. You can always use the same sculpture as a head or as a waist. Just have to flip it over. We can use the same waving technique to make uh, many different balloon sculptures, different sizes, different shapes, different color patterns. Please subscribe to my video channel to stay updated. Like the video, leave comments, share it with your friends. Have fun and happy twisting.